Tell you what, feeling good, looking good. Hope you are feeling good and looking good as well. I, uh, you know, I mean, I'd have to say that you probably are looking pretty good out there. So let's get to it. In today's video, we got some freaking juicy stuff. And guess what? Sunday, Jake Paul fights Tommy Fury, or you can say Tommy Fury fights Jake Paul. However you want to have it. I was like, Tommy's gonna win, you know. And then it's getting closer. I'm like, I think Jake might actually win. But I'm like, nah, Tommy should win, right? On paper, Tommy should freaking win. And I think Tommy will be Jake's toughest opponent. If you're into boxing, that's what I'm talking about. It's boxing. It's like, some people are like, yeah, that ain't real boxing. But I am more interested into the Ryan Garcia versus Devontae Davis. I think that'd be a pretty cool fight. Both of them are kind of at their prime. Both young, looking good, feeling good. Let's get to this, right? We're not a boxing channel. We are an unboxing and fishing channel, but... We got some stuff to go through. Now, I did do a Tackle Warehouse order around Black Friday. Showed you guys all the hard baits to that. And what do you know, I did have a chick magnet in the bluegill pattern that I did forget to show you guys. But that sucker's in the tackle box. I'm not going to hold you up any longer than we have to. But what we are going to do is, uh, we're I didn't show you any soft plastics in that video. So we're going to get these soft plastics together. We're going to get some up close and personal freaking shots of these suckers. And we're going to check them out. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. Let's check these plastics out. Alright, so what you didn't get to see in that tackle warehouse order was some robo worms. This is a hologram shed. You do get eight, eight in the pack here. Looking pretty damn good. I have fished this this one before with this color. That's why uh, I got some more here. Because somewhere in, in my bedroom, I have uh, a few left in a pack. But I really like this color. As you can see, it's translucent up top. So definitely uh, your clearer water bait. Got a black line there. So looks really good. I really like that. Nice and salty. This is like one of the better packs that I got from Tackle Warehouse. All the other packs, a lot of the salts melt it. And it some of the uh, worms and stuff are all bent up. So I was pretty happy with this pack. But a lot going on here. A lot of nice pretty flake in there. This sucker's going to shine well. We got that one. Put that to the side. Then we got the yellow perch. This is a four and a half inch. You get six in the pack here. So we lose two but we gain some extra length. And this right here is just a yellow perch. And they're definitely going to look better outside in a natural light. Um, let me see. I have a flashlight here. Let's see if we could see anything different if we kind of shine the light through it. Yeah, you can see it's going to be much more yellower outside in a natural light there. It's going to look pretty good. So, we got the yellow perch. Nothing like too exciting here. You know, some of the stuff I'm sure you've uh, seen. We do got some more Berkeley stuff, unfortunately. But, uh... That's pretty much it. You know, we got the Shad Gold Flake, the 5 inch original zipper. Now, these ones were pretty mangled up. Yeah, like, they're all stuck and sticking. I don't think these sell very well on Tackle Warehouse, truthfully. It takes a while for a bait to do this to one another. I mean, they're like almost glued together, almost melting together. But I never fished this before. I fished one from Zoom similar to this. I think it was the, the Dead Ringer or, um, yeah, I think that's what it might have been, the Dead Ringer. Let's put a little light through this, see if it does anything. But you could just see not, not too many colors there. But there definitely is, uh, in a natural light, it's going to be very more translucent. Just like this tail, that's going to be the color there. But really cool. I'm going to just uh, fish this on a Carolina rig, I think, or just a Texas rig and, and just let this sucker, you know, slip and slime across the bottom there. Slip and slime. I meant to say slip and slide. And then we got the Desert Crawl. And Desert Crawl is a pretty cool one. I gotta say, uh, Missile Bates makes a really cool Desert Crawl color. I really like Missile Bates Desert Crawl. See if this one's doing anything. There we go. We got some purple up in there. Maybe hard to see. Can we get it to go? 
So there you go, a little purple line in there. Kind of looks like a little motor oil up top here. If you look at the tail, nice like copperish motor oil color. Really sweet bait right there. I like it. And all this stuff here is going to move water. It's going to push sand and dirt. So if you're crawling this on the bottom, you know, stuff will get stuck in there. Bubbles will get stuck in there. It's just going to create a nice commotion. All right. And, of course, you know, I think when it comes to robo worms, the first color people think of is always, like, a color like this here, like your mm3 or mm2 or morning dawn but this one here is purple brown hologram and you can see uh, that nice purple pinkish color this is also a three inch here look at that baby yeah it looks really good some some awesome colors there Let's see, charge that baby up. Really awesome. Look at all the glitter that they put in there. They put some really fine little glitter in there. i tell you what, I am just ready to fish. I really haven't got to get out there too much. Like, maybe like three times since the new year. And that's not like me, but, you know, stuff's been coming up that I can't, you know, have no control over. Also, we picked up some uh, Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent, the Little Troopers. You get an eight count. They are two and a half inches long. And this is a bait that's designed to be fished on a net head. Or you could also put this on a little finesse jig. Uh, Molex makes a very good one. It's called the Nano Jig. And I really like that little Nano Jig. This would also look good on a firecracker jig. Well, look at that. Look at the texture. I really like the texture. Now, the Maxent is going to have to have texture like that. It needs to be able to absorb the, uh, you know, their scent that they put in there. It's more of a water-based scent, so you could really ring the, you could really see, let's see, could we see some juice? Yeah, these suckers are very juicy. But I like that. I like that. It looks like pimply, you know, it looks rough. Looks more realistic to me. One thing about the Maxent though is, you know, they're not buoyant, you know. They are like a heavier dense plastic that does get waterlogged. But that's the thing, you know, you want the water to be able to get in here to get the scent out. So this right here, you know, will be releasing scent while you're fishing it. Another cheaper alternative, if you are looking for a little Ned Crawl, but you don't want to spend the money because... I don't think there's very many offerings for a little Ned Cross that I could think of right now. I know Savage Gear got some really nice ones. Uh, you know, I guess there are a few companies. Just can't think off the hand. But if you're looking for a pretty decent one it, and for a cheap price, this is the Yum Ned Crawl. Very buoyant. This one will stand up. It will never lay down. Just the plastic that they use is something a little different. I'll show you guys. It's like really like foamy. You can see it's it's different. It's I don't know what they use. The durability of them is not all that great. I mean, it doesn't take really much to get these pinchers pinched off. But if you're catching fish, who's gonna complain? All right. Then we got the uh, watermelon red magic and the creature hog. I just, uh, I don't know if I should take these out of pack. I don't want to bore you to death. Like I said, the plastics that I had in that order may not seem that interesting because you probably felt like I've shown this stuff already. But i just been picking up some different colors of it. So this is Watermelon Red Magic. Very nice looking. Definitely want to make sure you keep the pack sealed very nice with the, uh, the Max and stuff maybe keep them out of the sun because you don't want them to get dried out and really love this color here this is a four and a quarter inch flatworm the color is called gobius get an eight count and this might be one of my favorite colors that they have i mean i do like the rusty crawl and their uh, alabama crawl but look at this one got some orange flake purple flake and black flake 
on a little two-tone ejection here, like a gray bottom and green pumpkin watermelon. Really nice color right there. I like that one a lot. I think all their colors are pretty great. And they will all have the matte finish because, like I said, it has to be that way. They have to be spongy to absorb in, you know, the solution that they put in there. And then next we got the Alabama Crawl. And you get to see all the juice at the bottom. These things are pretty juiced up. Very bright. Look at these things jiggle. I mean, they definitely have a good jiggle to them. And then probably that monster that I drank probably helps give them a little bit jiggle. So you get an eight count of these. And uh, I believe this is the last one of the max end. This is Green Pumpkin Party. Yeah, during that Black Friday sale, I know I'm like mad late getting these videos out to you guys, but during the Black Friday sale, these were like $5. So I thought it was a perfect time to buy it. And you know what? Another thing is, uh, it may not be a bad idea to just save your money that you would spend on tackle throughout the year and just wait for Black Friday and just get the baits that you know work and that you want to fish. And I think you're pretty good. I know... Um, our buddy Parabolum Fishing, he loads up on fishing line at that time of the year. And that's not a bad idea, especially you're getting a line much cheaper. All right, now we got some, uh, these were like a dollar. You know, you can never go wrong with a grub right here. This was, um, yeah, like a dollar twenty-five. Pretty much before the swim bait was around, this was your swim bait is a grub now everybody's selling the swim baits that the grub is kind of a forgotten bait right here but this is a four inch finesse grub pro blue big white baits plastic quality is very good i like that they're nice and affordable i don't know if we could get anything shining through this light yeah we don't need a flashlight no more just with the robo worms we did but a little pro blue little krill tail worm little grub then we got the five inch finesse grub in the color green pumpkin. Look at that, that's like a zoom fat Albert right there. Nice fat tail. Not as salty as the uh, the zoom though. But that was one of the zoom was one of the ones that I would throw the most. That I actually have the most grubs. If I look at my grub container, most of them are gonna be zoom. And uh, some little power bait ones for some panfish. Blue Pearl Salt and Pep. This one is also a uh, five inch finesse grub. And these look good on buzz baits, jig heads, as trailers for your uh, chatter baits, swim jigs, spinner baits. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So, a lot of uses for these suckers. And then we got a little smaller one, a little four inch green pumpkin there. All right, and the very last bit of the plastics is uh, the Berkeley Boss Grub in a three inch. Now I probably should have, when I made that Tackle Warehouse video, I probably should have just thrown the plastics into that video. Cause um, you know, I just want to make some other videos on some of the different tackle that I have, but I did tell you guys that I would show you this. Just your green pumpkin grub here. Now, if you want to see how good these tails kick, I do have a uh, shorts video on YouTube there where you can see it. And the little tank I had was no bigger than a shoebox, but I got some pretty good slow mo footage on it. And you can really see these things move. As soon as it starts going, these things uh, gain some great scissor action kick there. But you can see it's pretty much a little Ned bait there. So. Fish this on a net head, fish this on a little mini chatter bait, and you know, just fish it by itself. Catch some nice perch. Walleye bass, crappy. It's not very big, and I didn't want it to be very big. So I went with the three inch there. I think that is a very nice size. I will check out. I do think that they, I know that they have a four inch, but I'm not sure if they have a five inch. 
But I know there's these come in like three different sizes, if I remember right. And then we have the watermelon red. Watermelon red is a very good color on sunny days. You know, if it's sunny outside that day, watermelon is usually a really good color. You know, on your cloudier days, green pumpkin. Although green pumpkin will work on a sunny day or a cloudy day, but the watermelon color really shines on sunny days. And the red flake is probably one of the best flake colors when it comes to fishing baits because the red flake really shines very good. A color I really like is called black neon and it is just an all black with red flake and you should see how that thing looks in the water. Very good. But yeah, that's the watermelon. And next one we have is really cool. Reminds me a lot of the Yum El the Yum Baits Elder Magic. This one is Skeet's Green Money. And this definitely a clear water color here. And I have some places in mind for, you know, a lot of these. You can see very we got some little purple hues coming off you fish this in dirty water none of these pretty colors are shining through there i could guarantee you that but you fish this in some pretty clean water all this stuff's gonna have a nice little shine to it but yeah i was really impressed with the action on these i mean i didn't doubt that they wouldn't have good action but when i seen it in the slow-mo footage i was like wow that thing looks really good and that's it. It's a very short video today. I do got some other stuff that I'm like looking really forward to showing you guys. So I'm going to wrap this up and get ready to make that other one. All right. Well, that is it. It turns out this is probably going to be a short video. Uh, looking back at it now, I do regret just not showing these in that original Tackle Warehouse video. I think it would have uh, been complimented a little bit better with the rest of the baits. But, um, you know, nothing new here. Every, I mean, everybody probably seen a lot of these, but the boss grubs are pretty cool. Getting those little big bite bait scrub for like a dollar. I mean, you couldn't go wrong. And some accent stuff. But that is it with the accent stuff for a while. We're going to, um, we definitely have some other stuff here to show. I got some pretty exciting stuff that I do want to show you guys. But just had to get this knocked out. I didn't want to continue to show other stuff and forget about the stuff from our Tackle Warehouse video. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. And uh, leave a comment. And, uh, you know, feel free to hit that like button if you liked what you've seen today. And I'll see you guys next time. And let me know who you think is going to win the fight out of Jake Paul and Tommy Fury if you are into that kind of thing. Well, anyway, we are out of here now.